Hey everybody, KC here. So I'm in the Palisade section of Lake Oswego, Oregon, and I'm in a brand new New Season store that was just opened a couple of months ago. It's 19th store, and uh, and it's really interesting to see the development. I mean, I've been visiting New Season stores and talking to their various CEOs over the years. Um, back when they just had a few stores in Oregon, it was a little bit more crunchy granola. Um, you know, and, but it's always had a very strong community focus, and that's always been sort of the appeal of, uh, of New Seasons, positioning itself as a company that gives back to the community, and supports farmers, uh, supports local artisans. They continue to do that here, supporting companies through, um, through investment programs, microloan programs, uh, for people who might ordinarily not be able to start food companies, and they continue to be very, very successful. Now, you know, the structure at New Seasons has changed a little bit over the past few years. Um, they were acquired by uh, eMart, the Korean company. They're now part of Good Food Holdings, which owns uh, Metropolitan Market up in Seattle and Bristol Farms Lazy Acres down in California. Um, but I have to say, this is what they're calling uh, Nancy Lebo, who is their uh, CEO, uh, formerly of Winco and Kroger. Um, but she's from Portland. She has a very strong sense of, of both the community and New Seasons. And, you know, she talk, talks about this particular format, and I'll put pictures below. She talks about this being New Seasons 2.0. From my perspective, it's a little bit more upmarket. Right? It's a little bit fancier, a little bit nicer. Uh, different graphics pack packages, but they're still managing to um, stay true to their basic value proposition and their brand which is to be connected to the community. And listen, I got to imagine in Portland, that's uh, in the Portland area, that's a little tough to do over the last few years, right? We know about the civil unrest in Portland. Um, we know that there's been a lot of problems, retailers having trouble uh, with things like theft, you know, people doing drugs in the bathrooms, things like that. And, uh, and so it's tough to have a really strong community focus and yet do the things uh, that you need to do, keep the things in place that will be keep both your customers and your employees uh, safe. But uh, from what I can tell, New Season seems to be doing a pretty good job of that. This is a terrific store. It's about 20,000 square feet. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go from here in terms of retrofitting this, this package into existing stores and where they put new stores in the future. Because the one thing we do know is that eMart they have resources. So they have the kind of, you know, before New Seasons was owned by Endeavor, which wasn't as interested as eMart, it seems to be right now, in terms of growing the brand. So it'll be interesting to see how that happens. I gotta believe they're gonna be competitive when it comes to real estate. They're gonna be able to put the money into stores that are gonna be able to, you know, keep the stores operating and running and make them attractive um, in, a, in what can be a competitive market, right? because you do have Safeway, you have Whole Foods, you have Fred Meyer, you have Zupans, and uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. As I said, I'll put pictures below, really interesting store. Had, uh, had a really good time hanging out with Nancy Liebold uh, this morning, just getting a sense of where the company is going, and I look forward to seeing what their growth trajectory is gonna be uh, in the near and the distant future. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning, and as always, I wanna hear what's on your mind.